really important to have good documentation, you know, thorough documentation, so that if somebody's really uh, interested in understanding the system on a fundamental level, it's there for them if they need it. Um, but more important is, kind of like you said, mentorship. So having that kind of ladder of engagement where somebody can start off as a, a new developer and get onboarded into the community and take on more responsibility and learn more about the project um, as they go. Um, really, I think you should be, from day one, trying to train your replacement, even if you're not actually doing that. Um, you know, if you're not planning on, even if you're not planning on stepping down, you should still be training people as if you were, um, because that's the best way to uh, bring everyone you know, up to a higher level of understanding and a higher level of engagement with the code. I think it's a good idea. A mentor first mentality seems to have really taken the root in a lot of yeah. software shops, even like in the company and stuff. Yeah. And uh, I, I have actually found uh, on Seltzer that I, even when I was doing active development and doing weekly dev sessions, uh, I wasn't writing a lot of code. Most of what I was doing was mentoring and uh, doing code reviews and pair programming. Um, it turns out to be that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was a little frustrating, but also, um, you know, it, it was a sign to me that things were working well um, because people were learning and writing their own code. I, I'm starting to realize that if you want to advance, like if you want to, you know, actually spread good programming practices or when you take that leadership that coding coding is there but it's it's never going to be the same at that point on like if you take the leadership role it's yeah like, yeah it doesn't work it's similar and it's like it's cool and new <laughs> and you're teaching people stuff that you finally wanted to teach but yeah man you miss sometimes you miss just banging out that feature yeah know? and it is really handy to have uh at least you know two or three kind of de experienced developers on the project who can kind of pick up the slack if you need to step back and and uh, you know focus on writing some code or something. Yeah. Well, I've got to drop out here. I've got 